85% of the tornadoes recorded between 1980 and 2008 were recorded at an EF scale of only 0 to 1. The Parkerburg tornado that touched down on Sunday, May 25, 2008, would be one for the record book. It was rated at an EF scale of 5, over 200 miles per hour. The initial touchdown occurred 5 miles southwest of Parkersburg at 4.48 p.m. Central Time and quickly grew in size and intensity as it approached Parkersburg. The tornado was nearly three-quarters of a mile wide as it moved to the southern end of Parkersburg at 4.59 p.m. Holy fuck, Russ, look, it's huge. <gasps> Russ, come here, quick, come here, quick. Look at right there, dude. people died in Parkersburg and two in the next town of New Hartford as it headed east. The tornado, tornado's path of destruction lasted for 43 miles. If the tornado started on a path three to four miles further south of Parkersburg, it would have demolished Cedar Rapids and struck Waterloo, Iowa. The National Weather Service rated the Parkersburg, New Hartford, and Dunkerton tornado as an EF-5, wind speeds up to 205 miles per hour. This was the first EF-5 tornado in Iowa since June 13, 1976. At least 70 injuries were also reported besides the confirmed dead. Parkersburg's southern half of the town was turned into rubble. The tornado completely destroyed 280 homes and businesses and major damage to another 200. The roof was taken off the high school and the gym was destroyed. The town's bank video camera recorded the destruction of the bank as it was being destroyed. The bank video can be seen on YouTube. Several people celebrating their high school graduation at a restaurant survived the tornado by taking shelter in a walk-in freezer. The student's mother was holding the camera and didn't even realize it was still on during the tornado passing overhead. A video of the party on Tornado approaching the restaurant can be found at YouTube, Parkersburg Tornado Graduation Party. The tornado maintained size and intensity as, as it moved towards New Hartford. At 5.09 p.m., the storm moved just north of New Hartford once again, causing significant structural and tree damage. The tornado weakened around three miles east of New Hartford with lesser damage as it moved east just north of Cedar Falls at 526, which was right on the edge of town. Shortly after passing Cedar Falls, 535, a 93 mile an hour wind was recorded at the Waterloo Airport, which is in the extreme northwest part of Waterloo. Significant straight line winds occurred along and just south of the tornado track with estimates of 90 to 100 miles an hour. 
The tornado then grew in size to near one and a half miles wide north of Dunkerton, causing substantial damage to several farmsteads there. The tornado lifted just before entering Buckingham County. The local water utility called the Iowa Rural Water Association was called in for assistance after the city went on boiled water notice. Utility infrastructure was left largely intact, but the tornado and cleanup efforts damaged the connections in numerous homes. In the last couple of years, the majority of residents have rebuilt their homes and businesses, but evidence of the tornado's destruction still lingers in many empty lots.